it's all about. This In this episode, we repair our engine with a brand new MDI box, get invited to a private swimming pool, explore the island, and set sail to Kariaku. First, this is me, Kim. There is Bart, and here is Liz, our little explorer. We sold everything to explore these beautiful places with our tiny 33 foot sailboat, Tranquility. Uh, Last week, we two. continued our passage to Grenada with our engine problems, but we also yeah. enjoy a nice cash as virgins. We are lost in track. After a bumpy ride, we arrived in uh, St. David's Bay. Uh, that's where Grenada Marine is located. Uh, that's right over there. Uh, in the, it's a beautiful view to see because the mountains get up. And um, well, it's almost. We did it in two hours. So that's okay, I guess. spot at the service pontoon so let's dig up the buoys and prepare the lines we are dogging So uh, Kelly from uh, Grenada Marine is uh, busy servicing our engine. Um, looks like he's doing a pretty good job. He's very clean and neat and um, he explains a lot. So uh, I notice now I have the uh, oil for the, uh, for the sail drives. Uh, I put it up too high, so a little bit above the max. And that's not good because you can blow your seals. There's no water in it, so we're good. But uh, it's good that somebody can point out the mistakes you made so <laughs> to prevent any uh, trouble in the future. And this box is worth 650 euros. And this is what it's all about. This little electrical doohickey which starts and stops the engine and manages to do all the controls of the engine. Yeah. Nice box because it will make sure there are some safety checks in there so you don't overstart the engine when there's a problem. But come on Volvo, you can do better. They've been failing ever since they were introduced. And um, they're very expensive. They did a, um, um, a return and um, give the boxes free of charge again but there was a serial number before this one and they said these ones are good and now mine is failing after 600 hours engine hours so that's stupid you should work on these this is this is dangerous if they fail I think today uh, we had the uh, engine uh, 
fixed, but also uh, I've got a uh, job interview uh, via Zoom online with a hospital in uh, Curaçao. Yeah, I, I hope uh, I can work in Curaçao and um, see another hospital outside of the Netherlands. So that will be uh, fun to do. So during hurricane season, uh, I might be working. Time to celebrate the new engine and a positive job interview. Grenada Marine has a nice restaurant at the beach, so we go for our lunch. Where are we going? Um. We're having a tulis. We are heading towards the swimming pool. We just met um, a man on, in Granada Marine, a very nice man. He offered us to um, swim at his private swimming pool. So let's go. Watch me. Just follow every move. Touch me. What is that? A slumber. Yeah. Yeah. On check number. Where are you, Mom? I'm warm. Is he warmer? Yeah. It's warmer. Yeah. Oh, is that nice? <laughs> Oh, look at the bubble. Is it nice? Mm -hmm. Too hot for you, right? No, 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 it's okay now. The end of the day. <laughs> Thank you, Simon. It is always a little challenge to get Liz out of the swimming pool. Liz, Just Liz. like this time. Stern line. We leave a stern spring. It is removed. I will uh, put the engine in reverse and my wheel that side so the stern of the boat will turn to the... To the pontoon. After two days in the marina we head to Woburn Bay. We will be here the next coming days because we want to explore Grenada more. We are on our way for a guided island tour. 
with five other Dutch boats. We all met somewhere in Europe and it's really fun to meet each other again on this island. Grenada is also known as the Isle of Spice and with a reason. A lot of spices are produced here, like nutmeg. Grenada is one of the largest producers. And they also have a lot of tropical fruits that grow here. The landscape is very diverse, with a rainforest, waterfalls, hills and white sandy beaches. And the people are very friendly. The tour takes us around the island. Of course, we also make a stop at a rum distillery. We go to River Antoine, established in 1785. It is the oldest distillery in Grenada and has the oldest functioning watermill in the Caribbean. We are guided through the rum making process. First, the sugarcane gets crossed by the rollers that are powered by the water wheel. Then there is the fermentation process and the juice gets boiled in copper pots. Our next stop is at Belmont Estate for a cacao tour. We see all the different spices and fruits that grow here and get a taste of their chocolate. Trying to find the highest waterfall of Grenada. The highest waterfall in Grenada are the Carmel Falls. It is a 30 minute walk through a plantation to get to the bottom of the falls. has two falls that cascade over 70 feet into the pool below. After we slide at the lower part, we are climbing up for the highest part. Here you can stand under the waterfall. Of course, Bart is the daredevil and goes first. The rocks are very slippery. Well, our boat needs a captain, so I will stay behind. Liz also climbed all the way up and down. She is just a little too small for the sliding. So we went down by foot while Bart went down from the top. For my mind, uh, I'm going to babysit the Onlis, and um, that gives up the, us the opportunity to have a night out, all dressed up, ready to dinghy. <laughs> decided to go on a little adventure with the dinghy and have dinner at Secret Harbor. It is a dinghy ride of 40 minutes, two bays below Woburn Bay. 
It was high tide when we left and we had to wind in our back. A sunny ride. So we are uh, a bit far away from our boat, so we have our uh, phones uploaded already. But also if something goes wrong, we have our VHF with us. <laughs> so we can get into contact. Little did we know that the ride back home would be <gasps> so different. A really, really romantic dinner. And now I'm soaked. All dried up and on our way to a jumble sale at Hawk Island. It is a market where you can sell your treasures of the builds. So called forgotten stuff you have and don't need anymore. We have never been to such a sale. But there is nice food, some drinks and playing children. Let's have some fun! There were all sorts of games organized for the children. Of course Liz wanted to play in the water. Tired after all the playing in the sun, let's get home. Mm -hmm. So we have used our old uh, flexible water tank um, uh, as a water fill up station uh, when we are at anchor. So Bord is now testing it. Uh, he prepared some hoses, attached it to the flexible tank and we have this small pump. Um, later on we can install on that. to test it so now we wait and hopefully he will bring back a dinghy full of water Bart's back with the failed water tank but as usual it is not working as we want to so now we have to figure out a way to get it work. So we tried our second water tank now and then the water was running out of the dinghy so that was good and then we extended the line. So I hope you can hear the water. The water is running now so we needed to bring back the hose to where the dinghy is so there and then the pressure could build up in the hose and now the water is running a very frustrated job finished so let's cool off We are going to leave Grenada today and heading towards Kariakou. So everything needs to be stowed away. About to leave, already packed. I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What 
we can be like with no distraction so we have left Grenada and the plan was to sail uh, next to the coast close hole but it appears that the wind we are still having headwinds straight from our front uh, so it's turning around the island so I don't think we are having any seal today get away this is what we waited for uh, it's been a while since we've been sailing and today we are it's closed hole so <laughs> quite challenging uh, but nice <laughs> and we missed that oh sometimes missed it. I missed it yeah and the waves are sl smashing in sometimes and sweet little Liz is a little bit sleepy yeah a little bit sleepy that's something you don't see often I'm behind the wheel again um, because it's a one-day trip and it's close hold sailing I really like close hold so for me it's a chance to be behind the wheel again um, on the long runs it's a bit boring so that's why we use the hydrovane or the autopilot but now it's uh, it's quite okay and it's uh, blowing 16 17 knots right now we're doing 6.5, 6.6. It's a bit bumpy. Um, I'm excited and both a little bit worried about the material and everything, but I think uh, we'll be doing fine. And it's only, uh, well, it was only a trip of seven hours. We still have one, uh, a little bit over one hour to go. I mean, the waves are pretty big. We thought they were, uh, they would be smaller, but. Um, Still some pretty big waves here in the Caribbean Ocean. What do you see? Um, Caricoo. Oh, you see Caricoo. Today our worst nightmare happened. We had a leakage in the bow of the in boat. The I'm going to show Is this the end of our sailing journey? Or can we still enjoy the places we've uh, A little bit of an visited. excitement day. We are going to uh, clear in to uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Um, we didn't do our homework. Well, this was it. If you have any questions, please let us know. And for now, goodbye and thank you very much for watching. Fair winds to you all. In the next episode, the problems continue during our crossing to Grenada but we also enjoy this beautiful spice island.